This lecture will be examining the functional anatomy of the heart. The heart is comprised of four chambers. The uppermost chambers are called the right atria and the left atria. These two chambers are sitting on top of two larger chambers, the right ventricle and the left ventricle. The right atrium is separated from the right ventricle by a valve. This valve opens and closes to permit blood to flow from the right atrium into the right ventricle. And this valve is called the tricuspid valve. The left atrium is separated from the large left ventricle by a valve that is called the mitral valve. There are also some large vessels that enter and leave the heart. On the right side of the heart, we have the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava that enter into the right atrium. On the left side of the heart, on the left atrium, there are four pulmonary veins that enter into the left atrium to receive blood from the pulmonary system, from the lungs. The right ventricle is separated from the pulmonary artery by a pulmonic valve. And this is the artery that then takes the blood from the right ventricle and distributes it to the lungs where it is oxygenated. And from the left ventricle, we have the aortic valve that is separating the left ventricle from the aorta. And it is the aorta that distributes the blood throughout the systemic circulation. The actual flow tracing of blood within the heart is depicted in this diagram. Blood flow enters the right atrium from the systemic circulation through the superior vena cava, which drains primarily the upper body and head, and the inferior vena cava, which is the blood that is returning from the, from the lower regions of the body. That blood enters into the right atrium, will pass through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. At the same time that is occurring, blood is entering the left atrium from the pulmonary veins. It passes through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. After both the right and the left ventricles are filled with blood, then they are able to contract when stimulated electrically, and the blood flow from the right ventricle then will pass through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery to perfuse the lungs. And on the left side of the heart, when the left ventricle contracts, the blood passes through the aortic valve into the aorta from where it's distributed throughout the body.